Hi everyone, welcome to Dig Designs tutorial. Today we'll be showing you how to structure your basic layout for your website or any website that you're going to build and also how to implement divs um, into your your code. So what I have open right now is CodePen. It's a playground, a coding playground for experimenting, experimenting with different type of codes or uh, uh, innovating new things uh, and also for educational basis uh, which is what we're going to be using this for today. Um, it has HTML here or CSS file here. These come together, these come together and work together to instantaneously preview onto this page here. So as we code, you're going to see changes, which is going to be awesome. You're going to see what, what happens on uh, each line that we type in. So um, let's go ahead and get started on our basic layout. In our HTML section here, we're going to declare our document type. Okay, so we're going to do our tag for HTML. Within our HTML, tag we need our a head and a body so let's kind of do that now Alright, so far we have our HTML tag, meaning that anything inside HTML opening and closing tag is HTML code. Now we have our header and, I mean, we have our head and our body, which is two elements inside HTML. The body basically indicates whatever should be shown within the browser. The head is normally information about the site or linking style sheets, fonts, things like that, descriptions of the site. So let's go ahead and just start on this on the head. Very basic. The title of the site. Learning to structure a web site with divs. Okay, go ahead and close this off. Okay, uh, in your case, if you're using an HTML editor and actually using files and, and not using CodePen to, to learn, um, you want to link your external style sheet to your HTML document. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, now this would be the link to your external style sheet. So it's in your main directory and it's called style.css and this is correct. Say it's in a subdirectory called CSS then you would just you know add CSS forward slash. Okay, there you go. That. So now our header is pretty much done. I mean you can later on add more details but for simplicity we're just going to do this for now. Go ahead and, and let's go ahead and separate that. So now we're going to work on our body. Our body again is going to contain everything that's going to preview inside the main browser window. So normally what I like to have is a container, a div container, which is a, a, a big general box that's going to hold all your all your all your sections of the site. Uh, and all these sections of the sites are, are basically what composes your website. It's going to be the 
the header, the navigation, the content, and the footer. So we're gonna go ahead and, and I'm gonna go ahead and lay that out for you so for you to see. Okay, so let's do our div tag, an ID. I'll let her explain to you what an ID is compared to a class and such and such. For right now we're just gonna type everything out so you get an idea of how we're gonna lay it out. Okay, let's go ahead and close this tag. Okay, so now we have our container, which is going to be the big outer box. That's going to contain everything. Let's go ahead and do our sections of the site. Div ID header close this off. All right, here's section one or header. Just go ahead and copy this, copy this, and paste it for you know to make this quick and simple. Second, third, fourth. All right, so we got our header. Let's go ahead and change this to navigation. The next one we're going to send this to content. The next one is going to be footer. Okay, so just a quick explanation again. So within our body, we're going to have our container, which is going to be the big, big outside box. Here's the opening tag, the closing tag. So now we have our sections here. One, two, three, four. All right. So let's go ahead and kind of format it a little bit better. So we have our opening tag and our closing tag. We're going to go ahead and hit enter. All right. Go ahead and do that for the next four. Okay. All right. So everything's formatted correctly. So you'll see, you know, uh, an opening, closing, opening, closing, opening, closing, opening, closing. So everything looks good. Let's go ahead and just type something out. A headline to indicate, you know, which which div that we're in. Okay. Do H1. Let's put header. Okay, let's close that off. Again, let's go ahead and just copy and paste for simplicity. Copy, let's paste it in navigation. Go ahead and do that in content. Do that in footer. Okay, now you see, you know, that we're actually typing something that's going to appear onto the body of the site and, it, and it's appearing on the fly. Which is great. So you're going to see what's going to happen each time that we, we enter something or change something. So let's go ahead and change this to oops, navigation. Let's do content. Let's go ahead and change this to footer. All right, so you see it change instantaneously. Header, navigation, content, footer. So really, this is all you really need uh, just for a very basic layout of the site. Um, all your information is going to go in between your divs, OK? your header information, your navigation, your content, your footer, and it pretty much breaks down the whole site. And um, hopefully you can look at one of my videos on how to build a complete website, a complete basic website, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, so to a little go further into to divs, these divs are basically boxes um, of each other. You're gonna have you're gonna see the container here. This is a big box. This is the outer box, as you can see here. And within these other, within within the container, you're gonna have smaller boxes that's gonna lay on top of each other. So this, this is this is gonna be the very top. It's gonna be the one next to header, next going going down a header navigation content footer, as you can see here, header navigation content footer. So let's go ahead and just kind of style this a little bit, so you can kind of see how these block actually look. Um, 
So let's go ahead and do HTML. So now I'm working on my CSS, which is great. You can see both on each side. So again, this is a great for an, a great educational tool. HTML. Let's do body. Let's do div. Let's go ahead and just set the margin to zero. Padding to zero. Now this basically just keeps you know um, your margin and your padding to zero, and it's going to be very close. There's going to be no white spaces, as you can see. Oh, well, wait, as you can see later on, but there could be no white spaces as we as we go a little further on and coloring the background of the divs. Okay, so let's go ahead and start working on our container. Again, this is the big box. We're gonna want to center this by margin zero auto okay that's going to keep us keep the container in in the center it's it's not in the center yet because we haven't you know set a size width to it yet so it's kind of just expanding here so once we apply a width it's going to center itself here so you're going to see that in just a second width 600 let's do it 600 pixels okay so you're going to see that the divs are centered now. The container is centered now. And these divs are within the container here. Let's go a little further down. Let's work on um, our header. Okay, let's do a background of red. Okay, do you see that now? Also do H1 as well. Okay, let's go ahead and start on our navigation. So basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm applying background colors to each div. Okay, just different ones so you can see that it's it's actually a box that's forming. Okay. So let's do the background here. Oops, sorry, no mistake. Enter. Let's do background color of um, pink. Okay. Let's work on our next one. Content. Let's make this background color of Blue. Okay, let's do this to let's apply this to footer. Okay, and we're gonna do background oops orange. All right, so now you see how everything kind of breaks down. Um, the container is here. The header div here, the navigation div here, content div here, footer div here. So this is basically our general layout of the site. And this is how we implement divs to make your website. So I'm actually going to make a, another video on how to style these a little better, how to use divs and, and apply more con, my, apply more, more rules. Uh, so go ahead and stay tuned. Hopefully this is a, this has been a beneficial and helpful video on learning how to structure a very basic, basic layout, a, a very core, core layout. Thank you for watching.